for this video we're going to be looking at how to insert symbols as well as inserting the date and the time or just the date stamp on your form so one of the first things is we're going to look at is let's quickly look at how to insert the date so as you can see here that this is going to be more or less a formal letter so let me just move my cursor to the other side so one of the things that we add on to a formal letter is our date and time or oh, sorry the date that the letter is created so if we go to our insert tab under this block here where it says text if you see this calendar and the clock it, that is our insert date and time button so if we click on that we get different types of formats that appear and one of the nice things is depending on where you live you can adjust to your languages obviously I'm from South Africa, so I've got English, South Africa, and English United Kingdom, which are pretty much the same, with some slight variations. Okay, so let's just stick with English United Kingdom for now. So as you can see here, what it does, it shows us different times, or different date options, should I say. So we can choose Tuesday, the 8th of January, 2019, or we can move further down if we want, we can have the date as well as the time added but if you're writing a formal letter that's not always needed so you can select that and one of the things I like this is my personal thing is I have this block here ticked for update automatically so every time you save it and you open it you don't have to reinsert the date and the date it is automatically updated based on your computer clock and calendar so let's add that in there we go it's automatically updated or added in so we can select the update option if you don't have the automatic so one of the things is if we have a look here this is an aerial size 12 same if we want to make this different slightly smaller all we have to do is select and we can adjust our text as per normal one of the other cool features about word is the different symbols options but the, when it comes to symbols it is something you're going to have to play with to find out so let's look here to take advantage of this great opportunity, please ring so-and-so uh, on this number or complete an email to the following email address. Well, not everyone or the not everyone's going to know what an email address looks like or what the purpose of it. They might look at it and think it's a website. So if we go to the insert, under symbols option, I've used it before. There's a little envelope. I click that, add that. Well, there we go. There's an email for us to state that that is a mail address if there's anything else you want to add you can always go to more symbols and you can play around each font option has a different advantage for us or something very different so if I go back to normal text you can see here it's got letters it's got the copyright symbol it's got a whole bunch of different options for us I mean there's a lot to choose from if you are into teaching, you can use the check marks. But one of the things you can be careful of if you're going to be looking for this, it's always found under Wingdings font or Wingdings 2 font. Okay, so that there is how you add your date as well as a symbol.